Hey, what's up, guys? It's Christian here, your old pal, CHH. Long night at work. My hair's a mess. My hair's getting long, man. Uh, sometimes I don't realize it until I look in the camera. But anyway, um, we're going to look at September. There's a lot of cool titles that I'm ready to get. And uh, I kind of want to do this video, one, to get some opinions from you guys, because there's stuff that I kind of want, but I'm not sure. And I want to see what you guys say. And thanks to look forward to. The first thing I want to show before I swap screens is I just got from my buddy Kyle. He sent me the In Search of the Last Action Heroes. This is the In Search of people literally on the edge of my seat to watch this. So Thursday can't come in fast enough where I have some time uh, when, I, when I'm when i off to watch the In Search of the Last Action Heroes. I got to say, guys, In Search of Tomorrow, the sci-fi one, was so good I couldn't believe it. It's probably the best one I've seen, better than the horror ones. In Search of Tomorrow was fantastic, but the Last Action Heroes, God, I mean, I can't wait to watch that. Um, so yeah, let's get started guys. So let me swap my screen. Uh, so let's look at this and see, matter of fact, let me make this even bigger. There we go. So it, in terms of what's coming out, uh, yesterday, which was the six, um, I really want to talk about this. So the first thing is I never grabbed fun house. Um, I think this is probably going to look amazing on 4K. I might grab this at Best Buy when I see it, but I don't know. I just, uh, I, I kind of get 4Ks by just feel. Like, literally, if I just feel like it, I'll get it. If not, I won't. But I think I need to get the Fun House. I don't need to have it day of. So I can probably grab this in a couple days. If you've picked it up, please let me know how good the picture quality is on this and, and all that good stuff. Uh, but that's a classic Toby Hooper film. So this is what I want to ask you guys about. This is a very very important uh i need some help guys so uh as you can see right here we've got the star trek movies so in search of tomorrow went over these and i really was intrigued by them i did a stream the other night probably about a week ago maybe a week ago and this was what i got guys so if you check this out we've got star trek 5 2 uh star trek the director's cut star trek star trek 6 5 the first one and 4 and 3 so they have all the the star the eighty Star Trek films. It looks like, um, and what's interesting is they also have a complete collection set that you can buy. Now these just came out. I really want to see Wrath of Khan. I really want to see uh, the Voyage Home, and I also want to see where's Star Trek Six, the Undiscovered Country. Uh, now. The consensus that people were telling me on my stream, I believe there was a comment. The com this comment resonated. Star Trek is good in the rules of evens. So Star Trek 2, 4, and 6 are supposed to be like the really good ones. If that's the case, I will gladly just buy the ones that I that people say are really good on 4K. Um, but the only one that I also am a little bit interested in is 5, The Voyage Home, because the fact that they go to like San Francisco just sounds hysterical to me. So I want to see that. But again, I really just need your guys' opinion on that. I know that The Wrath of Khan is supposed to be this masterpiece, which I really can't wait to see. Uh, but I really don't need to buy the whole set on 4K if the consensus from you is, hey, just get The Wrath of Khan or get the rules of twos, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll leave that right there. Halloween Kills looks like you got a re-release on Steelbook. Cool, I guess. Already got it. Um, Let's see. Uh, coming up on the 9th, nothing. So the 13th, uh, some people are already getting this early. Their fog, that's cool. I've already got the fog on 4K from Studio Canal. Platoon, I certainly want to grab Platoon. That's a classic film. That's coming from Shout Select. Uh, that's Shout Select stuff I usually grab in the stores. It's just one of those things. Um, but in terms of the rest of next week, uh, Friday the 13th is going to be a big one for me. I absolutely just adore, uh, I've had, I have this pre-ordered by the way, I absolutely adore anything in physical media related to this franchise, so more than happy to grab this on 4K. I love this franchise to death. Collecting it is the most fun thing in the world, so I can't wait about that. Fatal Attraction 4K is coming, absolutely fantastic movie. I love Fatal Attraction. This is coming from Paramount. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab that too. Um, 
stellar movie. I think I have an old DVD of it. So even if it's not the greatest 4K, I'm totally fine to upgrade it just for the simple fact that I want to upgrade it. Marvelous film. I think it's a great uh, thriller, if you will, whatever you want to call it. Love it. Man, Fatal Attraction is good. Now I want to watch it right now, as a matter of fact. Um, Elvis 2022. I got to see that. People were telling me how good that was. Uh, the Fog Still book. The Fog Still looks cool, but I'm going to pass. Like I said, I already have it on 4K. Uh, the Amusement Park. This is the lost George Romero film. I want to give a huge shout out to Shudder. If you guys haven't noticed, Shudder is really, really good. I mean, really, really good about uh, physical media. Uh, even though they're a streaming site, they get the exclusives to put the stuff out. I'm getting this uh, amusement park out of sheer respect for George Romero, considering this is a, a, a lost film of his in, in a lot of aspects. Not anymore, quite frankly, but because it was for so long, uh, I'm going to grab this out of sheer respect. I, I never stream this because um, just one reason or another, but I'm more than happy to support the Shutter exclusive Blu-ray line and George Romero. So uh, totally going to grab that. I'll pre-order that. A lot of, like I said, a lot of the stuff I have pre-ordered. Um, Drive 4K, that looks good. I need to grab, I love Drive. Um, let's see. Masquerade Central High is getting a regular release. Either of Us, History of Horror, that's good stuff. Uh, Rollerball is awesome. I have Rollerball. I think I have Rollerball already. I want to say I do. I've seen that movie. It's great. Uh, but let's see what's coming up. The week after, that looks like it's about it for me on that week of September. Uh, September 20th is a big one. Um, Poltergeist, I certainly have pre-ordered. Um, in terms of the, the cover art, I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, the cover art's trash on these. You know, like, yeah, could it be better? you damn right. Uh, but whatever. Like, Poltergeist was a movie. I want to say this really quick. Poltergeist is a movie that, quite frankly... I feel like I haven't really been giving it a fair shake. I've been preaching left, right, and center about how much, I, how good I think part two is, and in some ways superior. But every I, and, I, and because of that, I've revisited two and even three, quite frankly, way more than the first Poltergeist over the last two or three years. And maybe about three months ago, two or three months ago, I rewatched Poltergeist, and I forgot that it really turns in it legitimately turns into a good horror film. Uh, so I'm actually really glad that it, th this came out. I this got announced right at the perfect pitch for me. So very excited about Poltergeist. I'm totally got that pre-ordered. Can't wait to grab it. Uh, of course, the Lost Boys is coming out on uh, a f in a couple weeks, and same thing. A lot of people are like, "Man, what's up with that artwork?" It, you know what? I'm with you, but whatever. I I I, I my, my wife loves this movie. The soundtrack is incredible. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the Lost Boys on 4K. Are you kidding? Uh, 100%. Uh, crawl. I don't know. Crawl is really good, but I don't know about getting it on 4K. Um, it's kind of weird that it got announced on 4K, quite frankly. I think my Blu ray is fine. I don't need crawl on 4K. I'm, I'm good. I'm good on crawl, guys. Um, Best Buy Poltergeist, uh, whatever. I actually don't even like that Best Buy exclusive art any better. Uh, this other Lost Boys art, whatever. We don't really like that either, quite frankly. But I'm, I don't, I'm just not thinking about. I'm trying to think about artwork on these things. Oh, uh, Cursed Films Volume Two is coming out on Blu-ray. Uh, I it's on Shutter, but again, I'm such a fan of the series. I want to support it in every single way possible. I bought Cursed Films on Blu-ray the first time. Stellar series. It's probably the greatest thing that Shutter has produced, quite frankly. And Part Two, Cursed Films Two, did not disappoint. Amazing stuff yet again. The Wizard of Oz episode was just enthralling. Uh, Rosemary's Baby, all of it, absolutely fantastic stuff. So uh, definitely pick that up, guys. Uh, the Cannibal Holocaust episode was great. All of it, marvelous, 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 marvelous. So the Cursed Films Two, I can't recommend those enough. Uh, they're not gimmicks. It's the real deal. What else is coming out that week? Uh, if you see something I'm, I'm skipping over, guys, please let me uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, of course, uh, September 27th, Evil Dead 4K. I believe I have this pre-ordered, not from Scream Factory. I think just from from Amazon, uh, which is fine. Big fan of this movie. Very happy to upgrade this. I will not be upgrading. Army of Darkness, as far as I'm concerned, because I don't think they're giving me the UK cut in 4K. 
which is the only way I watch that movie. Not picking up The Incredible Melting Man. I've got the Scream Factory Blu-ray, so not going to upgrade that. Not going to upgrade. I know what you did last summer because I have the 88 Films Blu-ray, which I'm I'm happy with. Um, Amityville Horror. I got to be honest with you. I think I'm going to get that on 4K. I'm a big Amityville Horror fan. This says it's coming out that week in September. So, yeah, I'm probably going to grab that. Big Amityville Horror fan. Big Amityville Horror fan. Love those movies, 1, 2, and 3. And even uh, the 90s ones, 90, 1992, Amityville 1992 and all that. Monsters Blu-ray, going to grab that. Um, let's see, guys. I'm not sure what else we have coming up this month. Again, if you see something that I'm skipping over. This Buried Alive movie I think I want to grab. I think that's Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, I think that's going to be it for the rest of the month. Which So it's going to be an expensive month. Um, yeah, so there it is, guys. So, again, thank you for watching this video. Uh, and let me know, let me know what to expect with those Star Trek films. Like I said, I really want to grab at least part two on 4k because I haven't seen them and I'm, I'm totally willing to take the plunge to get a couple of those on 4k. But if, if, if you guys tell me, look, it's true two, four and six are the real good ones to get in 4k more than happy to do that. Just let me know guys, or let me know what your favorites are. If, if I should get the box set, I just want opinions. I really want opinions at this point, but that's everything I've I'm getting this september so i've got to get to work guys because it's going to be an expensive month but let me know what you're picking up this month i'm really interested in knowing thank you for watching this video it's your old pal chh we'll see you guys next time thank you to all my supporters on patreon to get behind the scenes photos videos and music you can subscribe to my patreon for as little as a dollar a month